Good morning everyone, welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk. And today I am in Zisne, which is officially part of Sumbibay. Um, but it's kind of squeezed in between the different areas of, you know, Solna, Sumbibay on one side. And more to the other side, we've got places as Rinkeby and places like that. And Shista as well. So it's kind of in the middle of everything. And I just got out of the bus here. Um, so here we've got the Risne Tunobana station. And the reason I'm here today is because one of my viewers said to me, oh, I'm moving to Sweden and I'm going to a place called Risne, um, a street further up that way. And she asked me, um, I'm getting mixed signals about what kind of neighborhood this is. Do you want me, um, do you want to check it out? So I was like, yes, sure. And I understand the confusion because Risne is a place with a mixed reputation. It is known as being a bit of a hood. Um, but in my opinion, that reputation is mainly from the past. So it is based on what used to happen here. Um, it's still not a perfect place. There's still things happening here, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, this whole side of town is developing a lot and there's many things changing. So yeah, it's, um, let's check it out. Let's um, walk to the area where she's gonna move and um, let's see what's happening. I don't know what's up there. It looks, it looks a bit like an ice ring or something. Let's have a look. It is the coldest day today. It probably won't be a very long uh, walk because it is about minus 14, minus 15 degrees. So my face is already hurting and I just started to walk. But I won't complain, we're gonna do it anyway. So I don't know really know what this is. So there we've got these in the centrum. There's a few shops like along there. Can't really see too good today. But... Got a preschool over there with some small children it's probably called kindergarten in some countries in uh, Swedish we call it first which means preschool in Swedish it's like first it means like a place where you go before you go to school a uh, before school <laughs> There's quite a lot of uh, nature here actually in the in these areas. A lot of trees. What does it say here? Nu utvecklar vi risne promenaden med mötesplatsen för alla. Oh, it's like a new like uh like uh a, a place where you can walk. And they're making it more pleasant to walk around here, so with some green areas and things like that. Oh uh, yeah, so there over there was the preschool and here is the elementary school. So it's perfect if you live in this area, first you go to that school and then when you have the right age, which is about six years old, then you can go to the, the real school.
playground. Playgrounds in Sweden are usually uh, public. Um, I've seen a few private owned ones as well, but the ones like this, just in between the houses, they're almost always um, yeah, available for everyone to, to go and play. Um, I'm not sure if I can walk here actually. Can I? Oh, I think I can take a left here. Yeah, there it says Grön Kulla Skola. Which means like Green Hill School. <sighs> Cold. These are these typical apartments again that I've been talking about for many times. They're usually four or five floors high. With a little balcony. This is where the average Swede would live here in Stockholm, I would say. Christmas tree, a bit boring without any lights in it, but... It's nice and quiet, but it doesn't matter where in Stockholm you go. On Monday morning, 9 o'clock, it's quiet everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. In general, in Sweden, it's very nice. There's always like public spaces in between um, the houses. It's not too close to each other. And these you see everywhere as well, those recycling stations. So it says like plast or plastic or metal or whatever. Oh, I actually just realized I had some friends who were living here. Oh, that's cool. Let's have a look. They used to live in this street. So this is uh, what I mean, like they're changing this area a lot. Um, with more newer areas like this, who are a bit more upmarket. Um, Check that we hit in the garden. What's the name of this street? You know? Uh, not yet. That one is clear to park in. Okay, thank you. I asked her in Swedish and she looked at me like speaking some kind of alien language. She was like, what? There I've got like a nature area. 
Ez ut mest av vägen. Oj. Pjäsbacken. Nice. I almost say I quite like it here. This is better than um, than I expected. On the coldest day of the year. Seems like I say that every day, but yeah, it's really true. Like it's even actually too cold for these gloves. I need more. Sorry, not gloves. Not allowed to say gloves anymore. Mittens. Too cold for my mittens. Cool light there. On the building. Hey, Lavet Wegen, where is it? Yeah, Oh, the Wegen is right there. Oh, the Wegen is right Oh, a little artwork here. Oh, someone's liking hockey there. Has a hockey shirt there on the balcony. Oh, two squirrels. <laughs> that was funny. Really, really fast. I have to be careful not falling over here before I start sliding down the hill. Yes, nice. <laughs> Squirrels are always really cute. Some birds. Oi, oi.
Oh, the sun is coming through, very nice. Oh, actually, let's go that way because the subway is back there. See, my sense of direction completely... Uh, <laughs> confused me because I thought we were going that way, the other way. Took 16 minutes, but yes, I got lost. So let's try to find a bus back to Shista and uh, from there I'll take a bus back to Solentuna. If you look on the map it's actually not that far from Solentuna, it's just it's a bit in the corner so um, the subway from here doesn't go to where I live so I have to take a bus kind of the other way. So yeah this is Zisne Centrum. With a few shops, not that many, because as I said, Shista is so close that um, yeah, most people just go to the nearby big shopping center, I guess. By the way, thanks everyone for the great response of yesterday's video, the Christmas lights. Um, as I said, I think within the video while I was walking, I already had a really good feeling about it because it was snowing at exactly the right moment and yeah, it was just a really good atmosphere. So anyways, thanks for the for the great feedback. It's really motivating for me to see that people, you know, say nice things. And I must say, you know, the internet is usually known for a place where people just complain and negativity and all that stuff, but Lately, I must say, it's going really good. Getting a lot of love on the channel, so that's very nice. Alrighty, yeah, let's uh, keep it short today. Here from Risna. Risna Tori, thank you for watching and see you guys tomorrow.